All right, so we've talked about how to start your restaurant activity. We've talked about how to establish a layout for it so that you can start to render things to the display. But we haven't solved the problem. So I want to talk a little bit about what's next. And you know, we'll focus our discussion on the, on the test cases. So there are two test cases for this lesson. They're worth 10 points each. First one is called Test Restaurant View. And the second one is called Test On Click Launch. Um, OK. So and, and actually, uh, both of these are going to sort of start to pass at the same time. Um, your code is already in the right spot to pass the test on uh, click launch, but really sort of everything else is being tested in the, in the restaurant view. Um, so, so what do you still need to happen? Um, so the, the idea here is that what we want is when the restaurant view starts up or when the restaurant activity starts up, it should display information about the restaurant that was clicked. So right now it displays like hello world or something, you know, hard coded. We need to display information about the restaurant that was clicked. So let's talk through the flow of sort of how to get this to work. Um, so let's look at, well, joint solution code for MP1, that's all right. Let's look at unclicked. So the first thing here is to, to, to look at, actually that's not even the hard part, um, is to say, how do we identify the restaurant? So, so there's one way to think about it is, Somehow you need to get information about which restaurant was clicked from your main activity to the restaurant activity. So this code, if I do log.d uh, main activity, I could I, I did this before, I could log restaurant.get ID. So I know the ID of the restaurant that was clicked in this uh, callback. I need to get that information to the restaurant activity. Now I'm gonna give you a hint. An intent has something that's called extras that you can, so if I look at put extra, there are, there are ways to add extra information to the intent. Um, and this is what we want you to do and there's a description in today's lesson about exactly what the field should be called and what should be in there. So what we want you to do is add information about the ID to the intent using a specific field. Okay. Now, that will uh, is, mean that there's information in the intent about the restaurant that was clicked. So now let's go look at our restaurant activity. Now here, you need to um, be able to access the intent that was used to, and I'm trying to think, I think that's called get intent, right? So I say intent started, intent is equal to get intent. Um, and this, this will provide, let's see here, over, over this uh, fetching documentation. Uh, okay, let's see, let's try this. Um, oh, this is slow to load. Do, 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 do. It's so slow that it didn't even load. Here we go. So get intent returns the intent that started this activity. So the idea is main activity adds this information to the intent. Um, the restaurant activity uses get intent to get a reference to the intent that was used to start it. And then that intent has, you might have guessed it, get extras um, and, and a couple of different helper functions here to pull information that was added to the intent out of the intent. So main activity adds the ID to the intent. The restaurant activity retrieves the ID from the intent. Now you have the restaurant ID. The next question becomes, how do you convert that to a restaurant object so that you can get things like the cuisine and the name? Here, it's really more up to you. We're actually not dictating how you do this. But here's my suggestion, all right? I'm gonna go over into my, uh, my client code. So if you look down here, I'll close the documentation window. Um, the get restaurants method gets a list of restaurants from the server. And right here, I have access to the list of restaurants before I call the callback method, right? Um, right now, only the main activity has the restaurant list and that's probably the way we want it. My suggestion is you create a map on your client Right, so I'll, I'll put in the de declaration for you. You say something like uh, 
public, well, I'm gonna have to make it private and then make a getter for it, right? So I'll say private final map from string to restaurant, and I'll call this restaurant map. Um, and I shouldn't, actually, I don't want it to be final, right? It's your private map. And then you initialize this map with the, when you get the list of restaurants. So you go through that list and you add a mapping from ID to restaurant. Then what you can do is you can add a method like uh, public restaurant, get restaurant for ID, that takes a string as an ID and returns the contents of the map, right? It's mad because it should be final, okay. So we'll say return restaurant map dot get ID. And now you can call this you can get, uh, so if you look, go back to the main activity, we can see how to get access to the client, right? I call application.getClient after I do this, and now I can just call this get restaurant for ID method in my restaurant activity once I know what the ID is, okay? So there's a couple of moving pieces here, and I would suggest that you work really incrementally. So step one, uh, and I'll, I'll put some, some helpers in for you here. Uh, step one, add ID to the intent, okay? So that's the first thing you should do. Um, step two, retrieve ID from the intent. That's the next thing to do. Um, step three, convert ID to restaurant. And that might require, if I go back to client.java, that might require um, build, uh, sort of initialize map, using list of restaurants. So I have a list of restaurants, the restaurants themselves have an ID field. I wanna create a map from string to restaurant that maps the IDs to the restaurant objects so that get restaurant for ID can retrieve it. All right, so if I go back to uh, here, right? Now, once I have a restaurant, I can do things like set text restaurant.getName. That'll then create, uh, add the name to the view, and then I also need to add the cuisine. So, so those, that's your challenge, right? This is, this is probably you know, the, the sort of most uh, distributed sort of integrated piece of code that we've asked you to write for the MP so far. There's a couple of small changes you need to make in a few, few places. Now, none of this is, um, requires writing a lot of code. So if you're writing a lot of code, you know, uh, come talk to us because something may be going wrong. Um, and it also doesn't require any new ideas here. You need to look at existing code, look at your main activity, look at the code we've given you, and understand some of the concepts and just work carefully, work incrementally. You can do this. Like there's not a lot here to do um, in terms of just lines of code. There is a lot to understand, right? But as always, we're here for you. If you need questions, have questions, need help, ask on the help site or on the forum. Uh, good luck with today's MP. And when you're done, you'll have uh, it displaying, you know, uh, the, the restaurant itself or information about that restaurant in a nice new, uh, new activity.